Uh, right, good afternoon for me as well. Uh, nice to, to be here. This is, as Andre mentioned, the last community call before we head to summer uh, holidays. And uh, um, actually this time uh, I have the pleasure to have with me uh, the person behind uh, the redesign of Argos, uh, my colleague Arsatelis Kasomoulis, uh, who is here to uh, also take notes and, you know, hear, hear everyone's uh, views and feedback, um, if any. And Hello, everyone. Hi, Arsatelis. Thank you for joining. And thank you actually for preparing uh, the mocks for uh, this community call. Um, yes, as you probably saw from the invitation of this uh, community call, today we focus on the redesign. We have been having quite an intensive, uh, quite, quite intensive sessions in the last months to both redesign uh, the whole um, uh, tool and uh, the home page and, and everything to make it more user-friendly and to um, expand our model uh, at the technical side of things. So today we would like to show you just a bit of what we will be launching. Um, and that is the home page uh, and the dashboards uh, that come with uh, when you log in. So let me share my screen, actually, to show you this. Move you here. Okay, I'm not going to disable the floating panel because I think that's what causes me to uh, not being able to find uh, how to to return back after. Um, stopping sharing. Right, so this is uh, the new feel, uh, look and feel of um, the Argos. As you can see, several things have changed. Um, we kept, of course, the uh, menu uh, on the left-hand side, but we tried to um, minimize uh, the information that we provide. As you can see, we don't have uh, all the resources and support and um, other, um, let's say, supporting material. We don't have it here anymore. We will have it on top, um, on your top right, uh, next to the um, language, um, where the language is. And here you can see I'm not logged in at the moment, so I can still see as you as you do when you're not logged in in Argos, you can still see some things, uh, mainly the activity of users that have published um, openly their um, DMPs and the associated descriptions uh, of data sets or software um, or other types of outputs. And here we have, um, for someone that hasn't had any activity and is not logged in, we have this um, create your first DMP button, uh, which redir redirects you to uh, log in and then to uh, the page where you can create your DMP. Let me go back though. Sorry. Let me make it full screen again. Okay. And this is how I can create the first DMP after I log in. Uh, I can, I have a new um, box um, of resources that I can see. This is actually a slider. So um, uh, we can see the most uh, used templates and we can click to use the template. So start, this is another way to start a DMP by using the template um, immediately. Uh, or I can see them all through this new um, web website. Yeah, through this new page where you can search 
also uh, that was something that the users like you um, sent us um, as a, as feedback that you won't be able to see the whole templates and search um, and filter. So here is the dedicated page for that. And if you select one of the templates, then you can see um, in the main, let's say, screen that, um, let's say, the first section of this template and you can use it. I have to go back again. Okay. Uh, so I can see, I can start my new DMP after I log in. I can use the template or view the whole um, collection of templates. And I can see some statistics. Uh, for now, we have like these are, you know, uh, these are not real numbers. Um, we have the number of funders, users, and projects or grants, but it would be good if uh, you also tell us if this is something relevant for you or what you would like to see uh, actually in this part of, um, of the page where statistics are introduced. And then as I scroll, I can see the public, uh, publicly published <laughs> DMPs. And there, this is an, they're provided in that way as a list, as opposed to as we had them um, in the past, as we have it now, actually, in, the, in, the, in this release of Argos. And we did that because we wanted to minimize the space and provide a quick view. Uh, so if you want to quickly um, search for a DMP, for example, that you know it's published, or uh, quickly browse some, you can do it from this list. And if you click so more, you're redirected to a list um, of metadata records uh, of DMPs, which have some filtering according to the template, to the funder, to the organization, to the author, or to the um, um, repository that they are published in. You can also filter by uh, date of creation or last revision. And you can see some basic information like the name, um, the type, this is the DMP, this is not, um, this is the whole DMP. Uh, you can see the name of the template here. We don't have the name, but you, if it's Horizon 2020, you can see that um, the organization, the person, um, the authors, uh, author and authors, um, the version of this DMP, the publication date, uh, and the fact that it's published. You can also see the grant, uh, the DOI associated to this DMP, and click it and be uh, directed to, to Zenodo. Um, and what it contains, it contains some uh, descriptions. So one data set or one software and so on. You can export it and clone it as you as you're, can do um, today. And also view all DMP versions um, as you can also do today, but this is another view uh, to make it more, um, let's say, visible. Because today we're hiding a little bit. <laughs> Um, and this is if you're not uh, logged out. If you log in, you will be able to see your DMPs and your descriptions of dataset software, whatever descriptions you have. Uh, you still have this uh, box where you can use which you can use to quickly access a template uh, or you have these um, panels where you can search your uh, DMP or your description to quickly access it and you can see the name of the DMP in this particular um, box the version of this DMP 
the date that it was um, um, lastly added, the status of the DMP, uh, if it's in draft, completed or published. Published is the DOI, uh, where it gets the DOI. So um, we keep both uh, published and finalized. You can still click to create a new DMP from here. And if I scroll to see the descriptions that I have created and that have added to a DMP, I can, in the same way, I can see the title of the description, which DMP it is part of, when it was last edited, if it's in the status, if it's completed, draft or published, and or published. And I can quickly add uh, new descriptions to a DMP uh, from here. Um, by clicking show more, I can now see my dashboard um, like this. So you see all your activity uh, and you see three major, we have split the screen in three major columns, let's say, draft, completed and published as you saw it before. And we, we chose this visualization uh, to, again, minimize um, the information, uh, try to keep the information that is uh, easier for us to understand which is the one DMP that we were, um, that we were um, working so that we don't have to scroll much. Uh, so we chose this, uh, let's say, um, th this visualization to do that. Um, and I can scroll the drafts and even load more. And in the same way, I can do the same for completed and published. And as you can see, uh, the drafts, they all have um, a date on top. They all have the title of the DMP, the version of the DMP, and the license that they come with under, uh, the grant, if there's a grant associated to the DMP, and what, how many um, items uh, this DMP describes. And I can quickly, for, for example, in the published one, you see also the DOI. This is because every published um, DMP gets a DOI. And you see when I scroll, um, I mean, when I hover uh, my mouse on top of this card, uh, some action buttons appear and I can edit, click to edit, click to uh, finalize and delete this particular DMP. And I can find uh, more uh, hidden actions here. So now I clicked it because I want to see more information. And I want to uh, maybe invite someone quickly. So when I click it, this, uh, let's say, um, uh, th this, um, how do you say, uh, folded um, page appears, which has more information uh, about this DMP uh, and more actions uh, visible at least. So I can see that I can edit, create a new version, finalize. So if I click it, now it will be completed and it will be moved to the next, to the, to the middle column. Then I can click invite to invite someone. If I see that this is the correct DMP, I can invite someone like that. Oops. I can still export uh, in the formats that we have today and um, some hidden uh, options here. And I can see also the description uh, and other, um, other types, uh, like more information about the descriptions, like the title, which I couldn't see here, the um, funder, um, and so on. And I can click this plus and add new descriptions for my DMP. And similarly, yes, let's close it. 
And similarly, I can do for the completed. I can see that it's completed. Uh, if I want to undo, um, because I missed something and I want to continue editing it before I publish it, I can click uh, to continue edit it. So when I when it's finalized, I can when it's completed, let's say, I can still undo this and it will be moved to the draft and then I can continue uh, working on it. Uh, I can deposit if it's completed uh, and do what I, I showed you before uh, with invite and, and export. And similarly for that, I mean, they're, they're all the same. They follow the same uh, principle. Right. And here we also have the possibility to show only the draft, the completed and the published as opposed to all the activity. And filter by template that I used, role that I had if I was the owner or the um, uh, member of this DMP and the date that um, it was created. And um, I think that's it. You, you see that now the create button uh, still uh, we, we maintain the place of the create button. We have it here on top right next to our profile. Uh, we would also like to know if it's helpful for you uh, to have it there. Um, and if I go back and go for example to let's say users this is how i now see the the users uh, if i am an admin of argos or the open dmp software and i can change the role and if i change for example someone to only have access to the templates that i give them access to they do not see all the uh, all the different uh, options under the admin here on the left, but they only see the description templates. And if they click it, they will only see the description templates that um, I have invited them to co-develop with me as an admin. Um, am I forgetting something? Aristoteles, uh, perhaps you would like to say a few things as well? No, I think you covered uh, all our screens. Probably uh, we could show uh, an action like the invite from the draft list. Uh, Oh, I forgot to show the, um, yes, you're right. I forgot to show this, actually. Uh, the profile. Yeah. Top right, where you can click, you can see your profile and uh, link any account, merge actually, any accounts that, you that you're using the Argus with so that we merge all your activity in one account. And also your DMPs, uh, those that you are invited or you have um, created your own. So my profile will be now like this. This is the look and feel. Um, you can link the accounts from here. You have your, your information that we get from the uh, provider that you have selected to log in here and some more information that you can uh, add here. But I think I saw some questions. So let me go, let me go, where is it, to the chat. So Maura yeah. asks, sorry, yeah? No, no, I just wanted to, to help you. There is a question uh, that refers to the deposit action. Mm -hmm. What happens if you click on the deposit uh, button? Asks Mauro. Uh, what happens today? Uh, it still it remains the same. Uh, so if you click, let's see. Oh, here I have clicked it actually. 
I have created already uh, this. I don't know if I have um, an example at hand where I can show you this. Let's try. Oh, yeah, see if you click deposit and in this, so now I'm in Argos, so this is um, the repository is Zenodo, but in other OpenDMP instances, uh, there are different uh, repositories that we connect to. So in Argos, you click this and you are asked to log in with Zenodo or with uh, our token, so Argos token. Logging in with Zenodo means I'm going to add my credentials. And then I will have the metadata record and the attachments, the JSON and the PDF attachments immediately on Zenodo automatically. And then default option means that I don't have to log in. I just use Argos as my, um, uh, let's say, as the means to expose my DMP. So it's under Argos. Um, I think it's better if we do it uh, if we create our own Zenodo account, if we don't have, or if we have use ours, so that way we can um, we can have let's say we can have it also in our activity on Zenodo. So this is what happens. Um, RMS is published means deposited. Uh, yes, it means deposited. Correct, because it gets a DOI, so it's available. Andrea asks, maybe in the page my DMPs, oh, let's go back. So maybe in the page my DMPs, the filter for grant might be added. Oops, I cannot see it. It could be useful to filter all the data sets for a given project. Mm -hmm. So uh, my DMPs, there's a tell, this is kid is getting notes. Uh, my DMP is the filter for grant. Okay. Uh, when I am here, for example, yes. And then it could be useful to filter also the data sets for a given project. So in my, in my uh, description, so this is the my DMPs, but in my descriptions here, if I click, which is not available in our mocks now, but if I click it, I will be redirected as here in my description. So here I can have the uh, filter per, per project. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea. And actually, I hope that everyone is okay with all the fires in Italy and in Greece. Luckily, luckily I'm not in Greece, but I know <laughs> all my relatives and all the people are there, so I, I keep an eye on what's happening. So hopefully all your, everything, everything will calm down uh, in Italy and Greece with the fires. This is sad times. Um, right, uh, do you want me to show, maybe we can take it one by one now and see, or before doing that, what is um, maybe one thing that, confuses you today as Argus stands today, like with, with this U, UI, that you wish um, would be different. You, please feel free to just uh, unmute. It's, it's better if we, <laughs> if we have a discussion you know, rather than chatting. Um, rather than using the chat, I mean. I don't see if there are hands. Okay, maybe let's go it one by one then. So when you're, um, yes? And uh, what I would also love to to know is uh, our users uh, have detected from similar tools like Argos uh, any kind of uh, functionalities they would like that they would like to have and they don't. So, is there any functionalities that are not covered from Argos or from similar tools to Argos? Uh, 
uh, it would be really useful to to mention some of them so as as we are in the process of uh, redesigning our tool maybe we could include some more functionalities that we we have missed too mm -hmm. i mean we based our approach on commercial tools like um, for management uh, workflows not for recent not for data management plan plans so if there are any suggestions you're welcome uh maybe i have a um, suggestion andrea here yeah. again yeah uh, because in, in the current version of the argos uh, uh, tool um once you list the orders and then you have the list of the institution uh and then you, when you publish the pdf they are actually not linked one to another this was kind of an old issue we maybe already talked before in previous uh community calls so i was wondering if this is uh some way you know solved with a new version or not uh because it's kind of strange to have the list of authors and there is no the you know direct link from the authors to the uh, uh institution oh yes this is you know uh, I mean? yes yes i know so if you're here yes uh, of course but this is not uh this has to do with the redesign of the not the, resent, the expansion of our model uh so you mean when i start my dmp and i'm here these two should be connected should be um right yeah exactly yes yes so this we are yes this i will have more to tell in september <laughs> hopefully in the community call of september uh otherwise for sure in the community call of october but in september we will have the first implementation and i can show you more things of how these things will change thank you thank you um i mean how do you like like is it is it how how do you find it how do you find our approach um it would be good to know because um, we are using argos and open dmp software a lot uh every day but um for different reasons than you so it would be good to know your thoughts and do you find this approach better um do you think it will help Or what else would you like to see, like with filters and everything here? Okay, Julia says, hi, Ellen, thank you for this presentation. Maybe I missed the info, but from, my, but from the My Dashboard page, is it possible to add different templates, not only the Horizon Europe one? Yes, so from your dashboard, yes, here, you still see um, this, uh, let's say, um, toolbox, where you will see the most used templates, and you can quickly access them by clicking the use template, or the view all to search and combine the templates that you want to use for uh, your DMP. For example, a software template and a data template. Yeah, the, the previous panel, uh, the, the box, uh, there is uh, works like a slider. Uh, so we would like to present some of the most used templates. Uh, and uh, try to 
to think of it uh, like a slider that changes every few seconds, but you can browse them all from the view all of them. Mm -hmm. And maybe let me show this as well again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just here to, um, I don't know if it's the right time to mention it, but uh, we will also have a default template uh, that our users can use for DMP. Mm -hmm. So this is why we start with a default uh, as a preview. Oops. Uh, thank you. Really interesting. Also, the slider idea. Okay. By the way, I think that this dashboard is really intuitive and instance that hopefully, yes, uh, the, when we implement it, um, we'll, um, yeah, we'll also see how it will work in real life. Uh, any other thing that you would like to see? No. Then um, we're also working on the redesign of this page. of the home, like the landing page of Argos. So we will have more to share with you in September. This will change a lot again. Um, yeah, Sarah asks, are the templates for the whole Sarah, please, you can feel free to unmute at any time. Um, are the templates for the whole DMP or the single descriptions or for both of them? Uh, I, if I choose a template for a DMP, it automatically applies to all the descriptions within that DMP? No. Um, the way that Argos works is that uh, you create, and, and that was our fault in the beginning, uh, fault. I mean, we, we just didn't highlight it that much uh, because actually, you can combine different templates in Argos and each time you add a description example for a data, you can choose which template you want to use. So you, you have a, let's say, um, we call it a blueprint. Um, so a DMP is for us a blueprint that um, we see, let's say, as the main, the, the main folder where, um, the different files are inside. So the different files have different come with different templates and have different types of content inside them. So this we, we will show more um, in the in September when we have the expansion of the model also ready. Our sales is already working on um, the editors. So today we showed you the home and the dashboards. But of course, when you click create, there's a whole new um, actions that you are able to um, take. So create a DMP, add data description, all that will come after this. But we see here in the DMP editor, which I haven't showed you because we'll do that in September. Okay. Um, Julia says it would be nice if the researcher ch could choose and add his most used templates to the slider tool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to to be the most used by them, not by everyone. I don't. Uh, I think that's yes. Hi, I muted myself. Yes, that's what I was meaning because, um, well, of course, many of them would use the Horizon Europe template for sure, but maybe they want to use one combined two that are most useful for them. Like they could place them there. That would be interesting, I think. But if that's doable, I'm not an expert. 
Yes. Uh, I think that's our intention here with our today. So when you're not logged in, okay, let's find that page where I'm not logged in. When I'm not logged in, I see what other users are uh, using most of the times. And when I am logged in, I see my um, mostly used templates. That's Is that correct, Aristelius? Yes, this is correct. But uh, as far as I understand, they would also suggest uh, to have a list with our favorites, let's say, templates, uh, mm -hmm. where we pin them and we present them at the top, something like this, I believe. Uh, yeah, actually, this is a good idea. Uh, and uh, I believe we should uh, reconsider that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Having a list with our favorite templates might be uh, really useful. In addition to that, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I see. I see. Okay. And about your personal usage, is something of that um, relevant? Like, what would you like to see? How many DMPs? Of course, this, this will be clickable, so you will be redirected to your DMPs. The descriptions and the projects, something else? Maybe. No. Or same for the home, like when you're not logged in. What do you expect to see like here where it says Argus numbers? Could be, I think we were considering also the number of templates so that you click and you go actually where this goes to the whole list. Users, which we don't have today, and projects. Would funders, for example, would templates instead of funders um, be more useful for you? Or is it OK as it is? Um, it's Julia again. <laughs> I, um, I would say that funders is OK. Maybe it, I don't know if uh, I missed this info, but um, if you could add uh, the number of uh, descript um, of descriptions intended uh, the general ones, or if you have if you plan to differentiate like data from software or something mm. like this, I think that it could be useful from the first page if someone is wanting to make the just the software management plan to be able to um, visualize it and click it uh, straight away and go and see how the others did that. It could be an idea, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So here we we should also have what actually we have here, but more uh, fine grained to the type of output. Okay. Good. Alma says, hello, thank you very much for your presentation. I have just joined this session, so I'm not sure if oops, if what I post on this platform is public or only for the members of the research group. Could you please clarify a bit about it? Uh, you mean post on Argos or on um, the chat? On Argos, okay. No, uh, you have the possibility to have your DMP as private, uh, as a private project or public. You choose, and we don't show it here because it's not part of the dashboards. Perhaps we could consider adding it somewhere as a tag to make it more like, um, make this action more visible. Uh, but for example, today, if you go to Argos,
and you go here. Let me minimize a bit. Okay, and you go here. Um, you're asked to define the rights, the access rights that this DMP uh, should have. If it's open access, then it will be publicly available. So if it's restricted access, it won't be uh, publicly available. Even if you publish it, it will be under restricted uh, rights. So the metadata will be there, for example, the authors, the project and everything, but the attachments, the files of the actual DMP won't be um, available. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, anything else like something that you would like to change? since we are doing all this uh, redesign and making all these changes also expanding the model. This is your chance now. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, so yes, uh, I showed you the, the other things that we are working on and we are also working the editors as you saw. So this editor, this is the DMP editor and also the data set editor. So this will also change. Uh, this won't be that data set specific. This will allow for uh, more, uh, the definition of more, um, the identification and labeling of more um, outputs and specific fields for them. But that 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 we're going to show you later. Yeah, I don't know, Aristoteles. Um, I think we also had a question because um, we we don't know we have many ideas but we don't know which one you would like the best. Let's say um, this is a fun job trying to uh, combine the feedback that we get, but also um, think of how uh, you could want things to to happen in a different way. Uh, when I, we are in the, where am I? No, I have to go back. I have to go back here. So when I'm in the published DMPs, I'm not logged in. So I'm just viewing something without having to log in here. So when I'm here and I click to see this, our ideas are two. Either we redirect to the um, Open Air Explorer, the discovery portal of Open Air. So here, where we actually get this information from. Either we redirect to here. So if you click, oh, come on. If you click here, you go immediately on the page of the document as it is found on uh, Explore since it's published. Or we open um, a card like this one. like this one here on the on the right where so it's presented like that so what do you feel is uh, better 
because the one means that we need to integrate with explore which we can do but um, that means that you will need to be redirected to something outside Argos and the other one is staying uh, on Argos Do you have any preference? Perhaps. The good thing if we do this, if we redirect to explore, is that we will be able to link from here as well with other outputs. So we get, well, of course, we can deposit as well, but it, um, so we have more capabilities, let's say. So you're you're puzzled as we are, <laughs> but what? That's fine. We can we can see we can have an initial let's say implementation of this, and if you don't like something, of course, feedback are always welcome, um, and we take them into consideration um, in a future releases. So. And should tell us anything else that you would like to add? No, I uh, I would just like to know uh, your overall impression uh, of the tool and especially about how we present the information and how you navigate through the different pages of the dashboard. Uh, is it clear for you how to navigate through the pages? Is something that you find confusing? You mean today? Yeah, from the in in, in Argos. Ah, from the present from the new from, the, 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 the new yeah. proposed. Yeah. yeah, from the new layout. I know that uh, it's difficult uh, for you to to understand if mm -hmm. you don't have the the tool to play with it. But I, as an overall feeling. Uh, that's why what I am asking. I think um, we have Julia's feedback on that. Mara says to me, it seems more intuitive than the previous version. We feel the same, um, but yeah, let's see. Thank you, thank you, Mara. I think you're doing, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Julia. Right, okay. <laughs> I think you know when when I when those messages start appearing, I think I want to close the meeting now. Like I think this this is the time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm blushing. Okay. Uh, well, thank you everyone. Thank you very much also for your feedback and please continue um, providing them. We it, it, it might be a huge thing things that we need to change but we will do it because we really want to support our community uh in in argos um yeah thank you so much for being here hopefully uh we'll things will come in italy and greece with the fires and yeah let's um i wish you all a lovely summer holiday well deserved and needed for all of us and see you all in September. Maybe at the OS Fair if you will be in Madrid. Um, so yeah. <laughs>